Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing a testing out type of video. I am using this silicone makeup applicator that I got in my Beautycon box that I got today. Um, I've never tried one of these before, so, and I have seen these things going around viral. Not necessarily from Beautycon. If you don't know what Beautycon is, it is a monthly subscription box that, or not monthly, I'm sorry. It comes every like three months, so it's like a seasonal box. And this one is the summer's box. And this is the packaging it came in. And at the top it says Beautycon. And the back tells you the instructions and how to clean it. So, I'm going to be doing this on half of my face and then a brush on the other half and we'll see how this one goes. It does say to use circular motions when you are rubbing it in. So, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Matte Foundation Infallible. Oops, I did not mean to just turn that on. But, oh yeah, and if you can see I did put blue in my hair. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Um, I'll show you actually what I used. I used the L'Oreal Colorista and that's what the box looks like. It's supposed to lash, la last um, four to eight washes I believe and I wash my hair every day and this is like what it came out to be. My hair is wet and I did just wash it and a ton of it came out um, but that is just what it looks like. I'm not a big fan of it, so I don't care if it washes out. I kind of want it to, um, but they also do have, like, a product that will take all of this out. I don't care that much. It's not that big a deal. I just don't like it because it's really not something I would normally do. Like, I'm not one to experiment with a bunch of different hair colors. But, on to the video. So, I'm going to apply the product onto this, and then... We'll see. Oh, I put way too much. And then we'll see how it goes. So the right side of my face is going to be with this. So first I'm going to start out by like patting it places. Because I did a lot, I feel like. Okay. So then it says to massage in circular motion. So that's what I'll do. And I did prime my face already. I used the um, First Aid Beauty, what is it called? Like coconut smoothie primer or something. Um, I just got it, so, and I used it today. And I'm not going to lie, I usually don't use like, I only use like one foundation. And that foundation is from Limelight by Alcon, and it's a completely different consistency. As you can see, it's in, like, this form. It's made out of wax. It's not liquid. So, this is different for me. I haven't used this in a really long time. Actually, it's not really been that long. It's probably been a month, but... I just am not used to using this and of course I'm not used to using like this type of a applicator. Okay, I do think I need a smidge more even though I already did, although I already thought I put a lot on but I'm not sure how I feel about this little apparatus or whatever you want to call it. But also with things like this, you can't just try it for the first time and say you hate it. You kind of need to try it more and experiment with it. So this is basically just like a first impression. And I know I'm not doing circular motions, I just feel like you would need to add a lot more product to do that. So okay that's this, that side, and that's what it looks like. Um, 
and then at the end I'll go back and look and see if I need to touch up anywhere because it could be patchy so this one I'm just going to squirt it on my face and then go in with a brush okay so I finished putting on the foundation with the brush on this side and I was looking at my skin after I finished applying it and I do think this makes it look a lot prettier actually than the brush I think the brush is a lot more like conventional it's way easier to use it's a lot more time consuming than this but I do really like how it made my skin look so I feel like I would use this again but not like every day um, especially if I didn't have a lot of time I probably wouldn't use that but I do really like how it looks I think it does look very pretty I don't know if you guys can tell the difference um, but I do really like it so now I'm just going to set my face and to do that I'm going to use my Cody airspun powder and I'm just going to oh my god went everywhere um that's the one thing with loose powder it goes everywhere um okay so now I'm just going to take my powder brush and set my face like I normally would and I'm looking in my mirror right now so oh my god I just started setting my face and totally forgot to do concealer but that's okay this video is not really about that it's more about the brush or the the silicone applicator my fault is what I meant to say so yeah I do really like how this applies I am pleasantly surprised I thought I wouldn't like it at all um, I haven't tried it with the foundation I wear every day like I said it's this one um, I just really love this foundation it has 50% pigment why wouldn't you want that much pigment whenever you like this one is from Lime White by Alcone and it's 50% pigment when you normally go to like the drugstore or Sephora and you get a foundation where it has 18 to 23% pigment and this one's 50 so I mean I choose this one um, but yeah so I do really like this I was pleasantly surprised I would use it again not every day but I do like it and yeah so that's basically what the whole video is about and I hope that everyone has a great day and don't forget to check out my giveaway that is going on still it has a, another week left open if that even made sense it's open another week so yeah if you want to be entered go watch that video see what you need to do to enter and enter so I hope everyone has a great Monday, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!